Hello YouTube, G Dylan C here again today and welcome to our second video of portable PS2 mods and in today's video we're going to be looking at some case uh, making ideas. Now in the first video we talked about uh, an overview of basically what's inside a portable PS2 but I thought today I'm going to show you um, two ideas I'm going to go for um, but I'm going to have a look at the first idea and this is the one we're going to look at. This is the casing for the my final design um, my new controller come yesterday and so if you look at the back there's our back there's our controller I've just uh, screwed it in and if you were making a portable PS2 this is so simple to do uh, as you can see the sh the main chassis is already in there's a screen holder there at the back and obviously there's a screen and obviously our controls already done and on obviously on the back Obviously, I've got glue there. Obviously, obviously our PlayStation will go there, and obviously I've got speaker for here, somewhere to go there. Um, obviously, ide ideas uh, that keep on popping to my head. I could put the memory card in there. I could house, I don't know, maybe the uh, headphone jack or USB. Any ideas that's coming to my come uh, into my mind at the moment so yeah that's a uh, that's uh, my final design so yeah I'm gonna crack on with that uh, later on today um, another idea and this was how I did the supercharge the supercharge was uh, pretty simple to do basically we have our Joytech screen here and if you look at the back that's what it looks like on the back and so basically the supercharger is very simple to do basically it was the Logitech Netplay controller split and it went basically like that it was very simple to do so good thing about the advantage of the Joytech it had your speakers left and right and it had obviously all your buttons uh, sound volume and at the bottom here was your, uh, your headphone jack either side it was two of them so it made it really easy when you put it together um, so yeah that one could be done in a couple of days um, which once I've done that one I want to remake the supercharge again so that is basically about uh, this our casing ideas obviously you see a lot of casing ideas like 3d printers CNC machines for me it's um, it's not really an area I've gone down. Uh, it's always options, a uh, vacuum forming, which they say you can do yourself, but it's a lot of time. I just think this here, as soon as this come, as soon as this controller come yesterday, I've just cracked on to get to this position where I've got the screen holder, I've cut down, it took me about two or three hours. Obviously waiting for the glue to dry. I use a special adhesive, uh, which is um, absolutely, it, you need force to break it apart so uh really strong uh so yeah that's where i am and hopefully in a couple of days um i've but i've got the main uh the main project completed uh the wiring is probably i would say the probably easiest part the hardest part is obviously the chassis the chassis making but obviously this time around the chassis has been absolutely breeze so basically we got our, let's say, let's go a little bit deeper. Obviously our main chassis is there. And obviously there is our screen holder. All our buttons are already in. I've just taken it all out. And uh, yeah, so if you want to start making a PlayStation or even a tent, this is probably the best way to go. It's a very simple design. Um, and so yeah. And that is our opens up a couple of uh, options um, in our next video we're probably going to look at some of the wiring wiring some of the things like uh, classic ones like replacing the power reset button with um, a push button tax switch and all that all that kind of stuff um, like soldering um, and obviously maybe this as well we'll look at as well obviously we have here this is not the case in this is just the 79,000 um, motherboard if you took it out of a PS2 79003 slim 
console. So as you can see, that's it, what it looks like, and that's how thin it looks. But a lot of the stuff you we take away here, like our controller ports, we just solder that and solder directly to the board, same with the memory card. Uh, the back here, let's say we take away, I think that's the, I think it's the ethernet port. Uh, we take away all of it, uh, the fan, the heat shield, we cut this all down, so you're left with this. So it's a couple of things we'll be looking at in our next video. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed today. Uh, just giving you some of the options where I, what I do, but for me, this is my signature model. Every one I go for, I make it something like this. It's because it's very simple to do. So any questions, please ask. I'll be do my very best to answer the best I can. Comment, like, or subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.